RSV is just a common cold for most children, only some children get really short of breath and they stop feeding well and require hospitalization. RSV starts with an upper respiratory tract infection, with a runny nose. And then after two or three days, these children get short of breath, they start having wheezing the respiration, and then finally they need hospitalization. Mothers always know when to contact the doctor. They have a feeling something is really wrong with my child. That's a perfect symptom to respond to. Often the children are breathing fast or not feeding well, but basically parents can just follow their intuition. RSV can be a life-threatening disease. It is the second most important cause of death during infancy, following malaria. And very few people actually know that RSV causes so many deaths in the world during uh, infancy. There is no treatment for RSV infection. What we do actually in the hospital is supply oxygen and some feed during, via tube and then just wait until the children get better. And only the very severe children require mechanical ventilation to survive. The real problem of RSV infection is in developing countries because there is no intensive care unit to keep these children alive when they are really very sick. And that's why 99% of all children dying from RSV are living in developing countries. The biggest problem of RSV infection is that nobody has ever heard of this disease. And what we need to do is inform everyone, in particular parents of young children, how to recognize the disease and what to do when they see symptoms of RSV infection.